I have heard of diving into a swimming pool. But you know what? I have just never ever heard of diving into the alphabet soup. It's the first time I've learned the concept. Now, isn't that a genius terminology? Only a scientist like Dr. Krishan Chabra can come up with that. Let's hear this maestro elaborate on this diving into the alphabet soup in his segment called Anoke Rang. Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chabra and welcome to Anoke Rang. Today's topic is diving into the alphabet soup. Oh yes, the other day I was having an alphabet soup and I just could not help but stare at the tiny alphabets floating in the soup. Then I imagine as if I'm taking a dive in the bowl of soup. I could see the alphabets swirling, swishing, arranging and rearranging, making all kinds of words and phrases. They made me smile, laugh and even contemplate. The deeper I dived, more enamored I was with the diversity, meaning and beauty of these tiny alphabets. What am I saying? Well, let me give you some examples. Palindrome, a word or phrase which is spelled the same forward or backward such as race car and Malayalam. A word or phrase when spelled backward makes a different word. For example, the word stressed when spelled backward becomes the word deserts. Homonym, a word which has more than one meaning such as fall meaning to fall down and also the fall season. Homophone, a word which sounds like another word but has a different spelling and meaning. For example, flower, F-L-O-U-R and flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, both have the same sound. An error in spelling. We often misspell words, but a simple error can have serious consequences. A judge once wrote, John Doe should now be hanged. In reality, he meant to write, John Doe should not be hanged. A simple error of typing letter T as letter W made the word not as now, and that is a difference between life and death, no pun intended, and even the spell check was of no help. Another example, a boy wanting to impress his teacher meant to write, my teacher speaks idiomatic English, but accidentally omitted letters M and A and wrote, my teacher speaks idiotic English. No wonder he got an F instead of an A. Changing the order of words. As my older brother Ramesh ji used to say, drive carefully. It's better to be Mr. Late than be late Mr. How true. There are many thought-provoking thought quotations where moving some words around changes the meaning significantly and makes them more meaningful and interesting. The happiest people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the best of everything they have. A winner sees an answer for every problem. A loser sees a problem in every answer. Be who you are and say what you feel because those that matter don't mind and those that mind don't matter. And then I came across something fascinating. A set of two different words with opposite meaning but containing the same number of letters such as cry, joy, poor, rich, hate, love, angry, happy, wrong, right, failure, success, negative, positive. How interesting. Each set of words is completely opposite in one way yet it is the same in another way. Utterly diverse, yet completely united. Surely they have a big message for us human beings, unity regardless of our diverse backgrounds. Even looking at the religions, the words have a very powerful message. There are six letters in three different words, temple, mosque, and church. And there are five letters in each of the corresponding holy books, Gita, Quran, and Bible. It sure is amazing to note that these words representing vastly different religions have the same number of letters. Again, an excellent example of unity in diversity, only 
if we could take a cue and learn to embrace the harmony. No wonder the power of words is best summarized by the well-known quotation, pen is mightier than the sword written by Edward Bulwer-Lytton in 1839 and never underestimate the power of positivity. For example, when I is replaced with we, even illness becomes wellness. And just by looking at a word differently can be amazing. My favorite, the word impossible looked as I am possible surely changes the entire meaning. And now here is what I would like to say. 26 English alphabets, 26 English alphabets, they do look tiny in size, but their power and grandeur is definitely a big surprise. Alphabets make words. Alphabets make words which can take multiple forms, songs, poetry, books, CDs, DVDs, movies, and the list goes on. Whether spoken or written, whether spoken or written, words make a mighty impact, the good, the bad, the ugly, and that is an undeniable fact. They can bring peace. They can bring peace, hope, and prosperity in a small and a big way in one's life within a country and even across the continents far and away. But they can also create havoc. They can also create havoc, distrust, and unsurmountable grief, shatter lives, create panic and harm the human race beyond belief. So choose your words with care. So choose your words with care, with malice towards none, words that bring peace and joy to each and every one. And finally, wishing all the mothers out there a very happy and a special Mother's Day. Please join me again on the first Sunday of next month for another segment of An OK Rung. Namaskar.